guys, it's me Kate again. So in this video, we'll be talking about my most disappointing books of 2021. The, uh, these all books were the uh, were disappointing for because of multiple reasons. Some of them might have a lot of hype and I was just, they were just not for me. Some of them are classics of a genre that I enjoy. Some of them I watched uh, multiple adaptations of and I didn't like them. So we are starting with The Time Machine by A.G. Wells. So this is the classic science fiction story about the time traveler who travels from Victorian uh, uh, dinner table to uh, 800, uh, 800 and 2071 AD and uh, the world is uh, divided between gentle infective Eo, uh, Eloy and the April and like more locks who actually eat flesh thank you the big bang theory for that information then we have a uh, christmas carol by child charles dickens which is a uh, this edition also has two of his other stories and those are the chimes and the haunted man so in this in, one, in the Christmas Carol we are following a guy named Scrooge who on he on Christmas Eve gets uh, visited by ghosts of Christmas ghosts of Christmas past present and future and he sees how his decision and his uh, decisions and his demeanor actually wronged people in his life then we have The Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Maas, fifth book in uh, Throne of Glass series. In this series we're following an assassin called Sa Selena Sardotian who uh, prior to the events of the first one has been caught and in the beginning of the first one is working as a slave in the mine, in the salt mines. Up until the day when the captain of King's Guard comes and takes her to the current prince who wants her to be his champion in this fight to become King's assassin. Uh, and in this, in this one was particularly disappointing because one of the characters that I don't like gets uh, their story in, in involved with our main cast so no thank you then we have how is uh, so forth and blood by sarah J. Maas, the first book in crescent city series so in this one we're following a uh, price who two years ago lived uh, uh, actually was a party girl and enjoyed her life with her best friend who then turns up dead along with her entire pack and now two years later somebody has started murdering people the same way as her friend and her the and the friends pack were murdered but the supposed killer is in jail so Bryce has to uh, figure out who uh, actually is killing people now and she gets assigned the fallen angel hunt to help her actually Dion, I thought I would love this book I gave it in the end 4 out of the 5 stars but I think it would be better if uh, we had more of her brother and if it or if it was a little bit shorter and basically that way we would get actually the same uh, we could have saved a lot of time 
in the middle where her brother doesn't show and that way we would have technically more of her brother. <laughs> then we have A Gathering of Shadows by Lee Schwab, which is second book in a, in a Darker Shade of Magic series. So in this series we are following Kel who can with an Antari, which means he can travel to parallel worlds. In this uh, particular in this parallel London, and in this world there are four Londons: Red London, where people worship magic; Grey London, where oh, which is our London without magic; uh, White London, when only a few people have magic; and Black London, which was destroyed by magic. And Cal one day smuggled something from Black London he shouldn't have done. And that gets stolen from him and he gets in all kinds of trouble. Then we have An Enchantment of Ravens by Michelle Rogerson, which I gave two stars in the end. We're following an artist who is basically painting the portraits of Faye and one day she uh, accidentally uh, paints a human emotions in the fake print or faking uh, eyes and, we, and then he takes her to his court so uh, to the trial and basically the whole book is them walking through the woods then we have stemmed from the beginning the definitive history of racist ideas in America by Ibram X. Kendi, which is just, it is just what title, uh, subtitle tells you a definitive history of racist ideas in America. And it's uh, boring as hell. Then we have Ring Shout by P. J. L. Clark, which is about a group of people who Fight against these monsters, and that's all I can remember from it. Then we have uh, The Time Traveler's Wife by Orgy Niffingers, which is basically about a wife of a time traveler who basically needs the time traveler, her titular husband, in different points of her life. Then we have The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, which is, I wish everybody was selling it so good. I thought it was, uh, some parts were boring. And in this one we're following Garin, who uh, goes to this magic school but ends up fighting in a war. How that happens, I cannot tell you. Then we have Witches Tipped in Gold by Sia Nun Smart, which is about two witches who are enemies, but they no, uh, have to team up to um, take down the common enemy who just happens to be the mother of one of them. Then we have Atle in Love by Colleen Hoover, which is about uh, this woman and her brother's best friends and everybody uh, I uh, watch tells tell, uh, talks about how Colleen Hoover is great. I honestly thought that this book was average. Then we have The Nine, Heis, Nine House by Leigh Bardugo which is about this girl who basically gets involved with, uh, with this Ninth house on yellow, yellow which uh, looks after the supernatural phenomena of other houses. And basically, I thought I would love this book very much, and I did. I thought it was average. Then we have the Invisible Life of Adi Laru by V. Schwab. Which I thought I would absolutely love because it's smart. It's about uh, this girl who has to get married, but to escape her marriage, she asks the uh, 
one of the goals that uh, uh, answers after dark to gain her mortality, but the catch is nobody will remember her. And one day she needs a boy who actually remembers her. Then we have the Live Ship Trader series by Robin Hobb. Robin Hobb, uh, Hobb's books were good if they follow fit. If they do not follow fit, they are complete rubbish. That's my summary of this series because we are following uh, the Veshut family which owns a live ship which is this ship which comes alive uh, after three generations of its own stars on, dies on its deck because it's made of a uh, wizard wood. Then we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson which is about a girl who for her school project investigates a mur murder of a girl that happened several, several years prior in their school and her and that girl's boyfriend was blamed and he later killed himself in the uh, in prison and now our main character and the younger brother of said boyfriend are trying to figure out who the, the, the actual murderer was and then we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexa uh, a good girl's guy somewhere I thought it would be a lot better than it ended up being. To Kill a Kingdom, then we have a, To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo, which is about a mermaid whose mother asks her to bring her a heart of a prince, but she doesn't want to do that. Then we have Winter's Promise by Christine Dabola, which is the first book in the Mirror Visitor series where we're following uh, this woman called Ophelia who lives in this world where the world is divided into arcs and she is basically married off to another arc and needs to go to her husband and it's so boring. Then we have Gold Hearted the Rake by Lisa Claypass. I heard that they say Clepes is a wonderful author. I couldn't care less about this book. I don't even remember what it's about. Then we have uh, Alana the First Adventure by Tamara Pierce, which is about a girl in the Alana who wants to be a knight, and her twin brother wants to be a magician. Uh, so they switch places so her brother can go to a finishing school to become a magician and she can become a knight. Then we have Gone with the Wind by Margaret Michaels, which I cannot tell you what's about. That's how I much cared for it. Then, uh, then we have The Prairie of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon which is about this world which is divided by uh, into west and east and one part uh, loves and worships dragons the other part doesn't and that's all I can remember <laughs> from that book so if you like this series make sure to like share and subscribe tell me down below in the comment section what are some books that disappointed you this year and I'll see you in the next one.